Welcome back guys, I believe you're doing heartily well. You know, P2B has now finally reacted on Bola Metinimbu falling off and slipping off while he was climbing the vehicle to get salute from the military and other persons that were there on the celebration of the Democracy Day. Sincerely speaking, it was a disheartening time for him. Notwithstanding that Bola Metinimbu has equally come out to clarify the fact that what actually happened was a dobale. The heart and soul of a democratic struggle in the country. Early this morning, I had a swagger. <laughs> and it's on the social media. Yeah. <laughs> They are confused <laughs> whether I was doing Kuga or doing Babariga. <laughs> but it is the day to celebrate democracy. Why do you need your ballet for the day? I'm a traditional Yoruba boy. I live by the ballet. <laughs> Democracy. Welcome back guys, I believe you have heard exactly what he has stated and the clarifications just as he has also received what P2B has sent as a message to him concerning what really happened and this is a mistake that could happen anytime, anywhere to anybody. Now notwithstanding, let me take you straight to exactly what really happened. You know P2B was on the air recently and he made a lot of significant statement concerning the unity and the progress of this particular country and the one of the significant thing is that he made mention of Soire, he made mention of Soludo, he made mention of even you know Wele Soinka, those set of persons that have always stated ill on his progress, P2B intelligently made significant statements and Sincerely speaking, all what P2B stated are facts. Watch and when we come back, we'll exactly show you exactly what P2B has sent as a message to Bola Metinimbu after he must have faced this casualty. I will say that President Tinimbu have kept to his campaign promises. Throughout this camp the campaign, he consistently maintained that he will continue from where Buhari stopped. And that is done very well. I would say excellent. I will give him an excellent pass mark. And it is very simple. Dollar was 460. It is now 1005. Fuel was 238, it's now about 700. Diesel was 844, it's now 1415. A bag of rice is 30, 35,000, it's now about 80. A bag of beans was similar, 30, 35, it's now about 90. Gary was 27, 28, it's now 49. 50. A tuba of yam was about 2,007 to 3,000. Now it's over 10,000. Tomato basket is about 40,000. That is over 150,000. Electricity is 66 kilowatts. is now over 200. You can go on and on. Our debt, even bread, which is a basic thing other countries have subsided, like Egypt, Bread, smaller, medium bread was 450 naira. It's not 900 naira. The big one is 900, it's 1,005. Our debt, like I mentioned, was 87. By end of last year, it was actually 97. The highest we've done within that short period. Nine is over one, about over 100 trillion. In fact, this year alone, the government threw the Central Bank of Nigeria had issued 
and taking from the system borrowing of over 16 trillion naira. You can imagine the interest at almost 20 percent is about 3.2 trillion after 12 months. At that last year, in a period of nine months, we spent about 5.7 trillion servicing as debt interest on our payment. So add that. So overall, if done well, let's even go back to the overall of the economy. By the time it took over last year, we were still the biggest economy in Africa with $477 billion as our GDP, followed by South Africa, Egypt, Algeria, and Morocco. Today, we are number four. South Africa is number one now. I think about 373 billion dollars. Egypt is second, 347 billion dollars, followed by Algeria, 266, and we are now 252 billion GDP economy. It's even worse when you go to a per capita. We are not. We are actually one quarter of per capita of the least of these nations that I mentioned. South Africa is over 6,000 per capita. Egypt is 4,000 plus. So is Algeria. And then Morocco, which is 1,210, and we are 1,000 plus. So we actually have gone low. We are coming from a low of per capita of 3,000 plus in 2014. So with every other thing I've heard it sound, adherence to the rule of law has worsened. Mm. The country has been a nepotism is at the highest. Welcome back guys. B2B has stated the facts and all what he stated is actually what really happened. Look at the campaign promises of Bola Metinimbu in the, during the last presidential election. Exactly what he stated is what he is doing. He is reducing the purchasing power and increasing taxes. This were his words. Now, P2B haven't said that in you know, what P2B is stating it was the fact that the country ought to move forward. The renewed reign of Nigeria is paramount. Now, he went ahead to also commensurate and also state, as you could see on your screen, over the incident that occurred in Ego Square. He said, I was saddened to learn of President Tinimbu's unfortunate fall today. I wish him well. We achieve nothing by gluttoning about an incident that could well happen to any of us. We are all human beings and while we profoundly dis disagree on how to move Nigeria forward, we must remember our common human frailty. Let us stay focused on the issues that will lead to a new Nigeria. Yes, he went further to state, may this moment serve as a pugnant reminder of our shared humanity and the need for compassion empathy and unity in our pursuit for a brighter future for our great nation peter obi this is exactly what he stated and this message he sent was a message to state generally that bola metinimbu sorry for the misstep you made while you were climbing to get a national salute from the military and other persons they were in the podium, but a greater Nigeria is what P2B has always glamoured for. React on the comment section. What is your take on what P2B has stated? Notwithstanding that a lot of persons that have the feel that politics is all about beta have P2B has now proven beyond that that politics is all about the country being the priority.